Our next story also has a little art twist to it as well. It comes to us from Tacoma Public Utilities, and it's all thanks to some Tacoma Power employees who came up with an innovative way to help make cleaning moss off a huge hydroelectric dam much easier. Seven hydroelectric dams on four western Washington rivers. Tacoma Power owns and operates some very large and important power projects that provide clean renewable electricity to 168,000 customers. At 606 feet from bedrock to the crest, Mossy Rock Dam on the Cowlitz River is the state's tallest. Tacoma Power's dams are regulated by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC. A FERC dam safety inspector visits each dam annually to ensure they're kept safe. Western Washington's cool and moist climate is ideal for natural mosses and lichens, which seem to favor the vast concrete surfaces of Tacoma Power's dams. And a couple of years ago, during one of the annual inspections, uh, the inspector mentioned that the moss on the dam was becoming an issue and it was getting so thick that he couldn't properly inspect the dam and we knew at that point in time that eventually would, we would be required to remove the moss from at least certain sections of the face of the dam so the inspector could do a, a good thorough inspection of the dam. This was the best way to remove growth and debris from the face of each of Tacoma Power's dams every few years. A hydro employee armed with a power washer would get safety strapped into a bucket and be lowered over the edge of the dam. It was a wet, dirty, and very time-consuming job, sometimes with a 250 to 300 foot gap between the worker and the concrete or river below. It's uh, more mental, wears on you mentally than it does physically. Um, it's just known that it's dangerous doing it. Uh, but. It, you know, you get used to it, just like everything else. This year, the big job of cleaning Tacoma Power's dams has finally changed. The very people who work on the dams came up with an idea that led to construction of something that hasn't been available before. It's a remote-controlled dam washer. Employees like Jake Kinsman can now safely clean dams with both feet safely on solid concrete. I think it's going to be definitely a lot safer. It's going to... Uh, take the dangerous aspect out of the job. So. The washer frame is lowered into place with a crane. Operators use a computerized control module to adjust the elevation of the spray nozzles as well as the speed of the carriage that moves them across the surface of the dam. The jets move down a row, then down a notch in elevation, then repeats. It's all done quickly, safely, and more effectively than washing the surface by hand. Uh, even though it's a safe process, it's a, you know, an arduous one, took a lot of time, so we were looking for a more efficient uh, way to clean larger amounts of uh, the moss off of the face of the dam in a quicker period of time. A few months ago, Cowlitz River Project Manager Dean McLeod presented a challenge to employees Ron Jacobson and Chad Chalmers. They thought about it for a few minutes and said, yeah, we think we could come up with a device that'll do that uh, to effectively clean the dam and improve the efficiency. The two then went to work at their shop inside the Mayfield Dam powerhouse. Chalmers applied his knowledge of computer-controlled systems. Jacobson brought his decades of mechanical experience. I thought about it for quite a while and then just went back on all my different experiences of equipment I've worked on and different stuff I've built over the years and kind of put together a little plan in my head and just started putting it together, I guess. Some of the programming that it required I hadn't done, so it was kind of learn on the fly. And I brought, brought to them about putting a, a small PLC in it to be able to control it, to go back and forth, a frequency drive to be able to uh, control the speed of the heads. Um, for dirtier spots, we can slow it down. If it's, if it's uh, cleaning good, we can speed it up. The initial tests on the face of Mayfield Dam showed their invention had real promise. The results were clear, and the first big test came at Tacoma Power's Alder Dam on the Nisqually River. Uh, once they got started, uh, the other managers from here and I went over to took a look, and uh, when we saw how effective it was working there and improving the efficiency of the process, yes, we were very pleased with, with how it worked. As with any new invention, there were a few bugs to work out. 
other than a few hiccups that they've had, um, overall it worked really good. The crew was really happy with it. Uh, in fact, they are looking at building one themselves. A little bit smaller version, but uh, it really saved them a lot of time and it, it's a lot safer for the crew. With some ingenuity, a slow, risky chore at Tacoma Powers Dams has now been transformed with a process improvement. Back at the shop, Ron Jacobson and Chad Chalmers say they're working on yet another modification, one that will help their dam washer better fit the contour of the gravity arch dams that still need cleaning. Delegates to a recent National Hydro Industry Gathering were quite impressed by Tacoma Powers' invention. You can learn more about Tacoma Powers dams by visiting tacomapower.com.